you. Who's there? You know, it's not what it looks like. What? The water. People think it's peaceful and soothing. I'm always curious about what's underneath. Fish? Yes, fish. A lot of other things. I'm sorry, but um, what are you doing out here? I uh, left something in my boat. Oh, oh the big one? Yeah, the big one. Uh, you seem a little nervous. No, no, I'm fine. I was, I was just thinking about something else. What? I was just thinking about um, how good um, Daisy and Rafe are together. Well, I don't agree. I think he can do much better than her. Do you even know Daisy? I know that she's Harley's daughter, that's all I need to know, and I know that he deserves better than that girl. Everyone always thinks they know what someone deserves, who's better than who. At the end of the day, no one knows who's good, who's bad, and who has secrets. Everyone has things they don't want to talk about. Uh. Yes, I guess they do. Underneath the surface of the water. You can think you know someone and then you don't. And so I don't think it's quite fair to say so-and-so doesn't deserve to be with so-and-so. And the so-and-so in your life is Henry Bradshaw? Your mother doesn't think that he's in your league, does she? Well, that's why we love Doris. Ah. Well, she couldn't be more wrong. Because I know what's inside of you. You're a very strong young lady. Not always. Yes, you have strength and courage. And if anyone tells you differently, ignore them. Do you ever think about that night? What night? The crime, the gun. You know, the wedding. Well, yes, on occasion I do. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. Look, 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 it's... It's in the past. You're over it? Yeah, pretty much. Are you? Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think I am. And then... Sometimes I think that when something traumatic like that happens... You never really can let it go. Maybe you're right. You got a cell phone? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just a minute here. First rule of negotiation, always bid low. Now, Hilda, you would take probably $10 for that, wouldn't you? Okay. Hey, well, that would be all. So, um, you want to call Daisy, huh? Look, are you going to lecture me, too, about the evils of sex and how I'm too young and how I'm just going to ruin my life? No, no, sex is very natural. It's a healthy part of life. But a Cooper will ruin your life. Now, you look at your father. No, look, Harley, Daisy is not Harley. No, she's not Harley, but she's close enough. Just remember, you are a Spalding Raphael. You're young, you're wealthy. You, you should be playing the field at this time in your life. I mean, there are beautiful girls all over the place. They should be all over you. You should be enjoying them. Come on, don't be a fool and limit your options. Oh, uh, there's a phone in my bedroom.
Cuba? Why did he ask about Cuba? Riva? What did you say? A flight plan. He wants a flight plan? I'll give him a flight plan. A plan that'll end him up right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Look, I will take care of this, all right? Here. Let me see. No, 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 no. It's all right, damn it. Okay, why don't you just relax then? Whatever is bothering you, I'm sure you will figure it out. You're the strongest man I know. So why get yourself worked up into a heart attack? Just for fun? That's a very good point. You're Alan Spaulding. I know your name before I even met you. People say you never lose. Thank you for reminding me of that, Natalia. You know something? You're an amazing woman. Would you like a hot cup of tea or something? No, 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 no. Thank you very much. I'll tell you what I would like. I would like for you to accompany me to the Spalding Charity event. The Diabetes Research Fundraiser? You and Rafe are the reason for it, and I want you to be a part of it. Now, you reminded me that I never lose, so I won't take no for an answer. Okay, well, in that case, well, yeah. Good. Remember. Good. Uh, I actually have a, a friend here somewhere, so I have to go. But you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. As a matter of fact, I think I've come up with a solution to my problem. That doesn't surprise me. You've got to get out of there. Why? What's going on? O'Neill is breathing down our necks. Where is he now? He slipped out. Yeah, he slipped out to talk to my pilot. Now, I told you to distract him, Reva, but I don't know what you did. It, it had the opposite effect. I can turn it around. Well, what if he turns you around when you have too much to drink or you mumble something when you're in bed with him? I don't mumble. I'm not going to give us away. End it, Reva. I don't care what you have to do. It is too dangerous to be with him right now. Alan, I can... Reva, you have as much to lose in this as I do.